Hi kids, how are we doing? Welcome back. If you're returning, I hope you subscribed. If it's your first time, I hope you subscribe. And everybody, press like now, really quickly. Cheers, thank you, it's appreciated. Uh, that's YouTube nonsense out of the way. Uh, time for me to welcome you to another half-assed tutorial. I've got a bit of an apology to make. I talked about polyrhythms some time ago. And I've discovered that actually I was talking about polymeters. Um, the two are related, but there is a big difference and quite a major difference. Um, I saw an Andrew Wang video where he explained this with a door. But being a hardware jammer, um, I need to translate that a little bit to how I work. And that is a bit more tricky because we use step sequences in hardware. Mainly we use step sequences in hardware stuff. Certainly I do. All based on drum machines. And usually they've got 16 steps on them. And then you can have various amounts of bars on that. So what I'm going to do today is walk you through polyrhythms and how they work and I'm going to show you a little bit so it's a tiny little bit of very very easy maths and then I'm going to set up some examples on the circuit which hopefully uh, will be a little bit of fun so starting very simply a poly um, polymeter is where everything goes on the same beat so you've got one two three four only sometimes with a with a polymeter thing every all of those beats are exactly the same but with a polyrhythm they're not there's different spaces between them so how can we work that out with a with a step sequencer right first thing say we started off with a polyrhythm where we wanted what four pulses against three pulses let me draw this out I'll, ex I'll explain it as we go along because the key to working out a polyrhythm is to work out how many steps on the step sequencer you need to use to program it so if I have a look here that can be one pulse so that's going to be the start beat and then I'm going to play I don't know, four, so fairly common or garden. One, two, three, four. So that's four steps. And against that, I want to play three step rhythm. So in a different time, so that the pulse, the beat is regular, but it's not regular in the same way. So we'll start at the same place. And I'm not going to have as much time, so I'm going to have three points here. So two, three, and then I start again. And because I've started again, I've got to finish, because I've got to make sure I've got the same gap in between these two notes. So that's that one and that one there. And because I've got this tail left over, I need to continue this row. So I'm going to continue that row there and go one, two, because I need the same amount of space between these two beats as I as as I have. So I've got two between there. But this has got now got a tail hanging over. So I'm going to put in that on there. That's where my pulse is. And then give it the same space, the same two kind of pulse, two beat space as I had before. And now I've got this hanging over the end here so I've got to carry this one on so there's my pulse beat and then I put my spaces in again and it's got to be three one two three and then I put because this is hanging over put my pulse in and then I put those two beats in there and that works out at being and that would then loop back round to the beginning there because if I start and up they will line up 
So I, all I need to do now is count up the steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that would be four beats, or, or it would be three beats, but cut up into uh, four slots, four parts. And this would be four beats cut up into three parts, or that's three, four time. And that would be four, three time. Okay, so two different rhythmical patterns or emphases running at the same time consecutively. Now we, we can do this with other numbers. So what would happen if we tried it with five and then we could work out how many steps that we would need to get it to match up. So if we try it with five, so start there, my first one, 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 two, three, four, five, and then I'll put in my three underneath. Oh, one, two, three. So that should be like that, which is right, because that's hanging over. So that's one, two, three. Now I've got that hanging over, so I need to do that five, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, and then I need this one hanging over. One, two, three. Oh, I need to add on a bit on the end. So I'm going to put that one there. Two, three. Now this is left over. So I need to hang that one. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two. And how many steps have I got here? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 steps. So this is going to be 3, 5 time, because it's 3 and then 5. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 3 time. Okay, let's try something even more wacky. Let's try 5-4, see how that works. So we're looking at the ratio 5-4. So 5 on the top and 4 underneath. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two, three, four, five. Let's put my 4 in. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then that's hanging over. 1, two, three, four. So I'm going to put my five in because that's got a hangover. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, now I've got this hangover. So I'm going to put that in. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then I've got this hangover. So one, two, three, four, five. And then, oh dear, another hangover. One, two, three, four. Hopefully this won't go on forever. So I've got another one here. One, two, three, four. And one for luck. And then we go one, two, three, four. And there we go. Next one, both going to be dots. So how many steps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this is one, two, three, four. This is four, five time, and this is one, two, three, four, five, five four time 20 steps right the really interesting thing 
is what this sounds like. So let's have a go and put a few of these on the circuit. Okay. Headphones on, let's get rocking. So let's go through to pattern. Uh, let's select some instruments. So. Kick drum, nice and easy. We can use that as the first marker for each of our things. And then we'll use this another drum snare okay so back in here we can run them against each other let's start with this top one so how many steps did we say that was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we want to set the last note. So we go to length. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That will be our last note. And then if we program in our dots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, two three four back to the beginning that's that that's that top row there and then the other one it's going to be one two three so one two three one two three whoop one two three one two three three back to the beginning so let's give that a listen That's not bad. Let's get a little bit more interesting. So we'll try the next one. How many slots did we have? One steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So length. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you know the score. We're going up to there. Okay. Now, take all of those out and we just leave the first beat because we know that we want the first beat on both of them. So, one, and then we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then a beat. One, two, three, four. Oh, four, then a beat. One, two, three, four. And then another one, two, three, four, space. One, two, three, four. And then another beat. And then there should be one, two, three, four, back to the beginning. And then the three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Back to the beginning. Let's have a listen to that. That's a little bit stranger. Right. But not bad. We can make use of that. This is the last one. And remember this one's got 20 steps on it. So this one, we are going to have to put over more than one bar so this gets a bit more complicated in our programming we can open this up to fully 16 beats and then we'll have another pattern which will only have four beats in it so length up to 16 and because this one was going to be one two three four five so it's one two three four five one two three four five we can leave that as it is five one two three four five we know that one's going to be a start and then this is one two three four well that's pretty much standard drum machine one two three four one two three four so now 
we go on to the next pattern which is there and back into sequence and we only want four beats because that was the one of the last one and we only want the four beats because 20 16 plus 4 makes 20 why am I telling you that you don't really need to know well you do this we can leave entirely blank because we've already put the kick drum on the 16th step on the last bar but we need to put that in there and now play those two together and this is what we get It's quite tricky, but it's there. Right. There are other things we can do with this, and I'm going to play with this, and then I'm going to explain why I like it and what I'm what I can do. But I'll come back to that in in some other videos because time's getting on now. Um, but yeah, I will definitely, having corrected my mistake, I will definitely be making more use of poly uh, rhythms rather than just polymeters which slide all over the place although i do love a good polymeter okay so hope to see you next time have fun keep well don't forget to press like don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and uh share and enjoy see you soon kids bye